there seems to be one debate dividing the Eastgate community more than any other. Are you a hub or a belt man? So for anyone that's new to electric skateboarding and hasn't seen both systems before, I just want to illustrate the difference between a belt driven system and a hub driven system. Over on the left here, we have the Evolve Bamboo GT. Similar to the boosted board, this has a belt driven system. We basically have two motors driving two belts, which are attached to a cog, which is then attached to the wheels. This system works great and is very powerful. Over on the right, we have the Koo Wheel, which is the in-hub motor system. Basically, the motors are built right into the wheels. You can't see much in a hub motor system, except from a power cord going into the wheels. So the original system for electric skateboards was built driven, with the first widespreadly popular manufacturers such as Boosted and Evolve still using this system today. But in 2015, some new companies such as Steri, Inboard and Cool Wheel came along with a new system where they built the motor directly into the wheel, called in-hub motors. So what are the advantages of a belt driven system like we have here on the boosted board? Well, these are easy to maintain and replace. The main thing that goes wrong is the belt and that is very easy to replace. Also the wheel, it doesn't have a motor inside it so it's cheaper to replace again and simpler. Another advantage is belts allow for gearing. Now that means you have more precision and control at low speeds. You really feel this if you take a boosted board out compared to a hub driven board like the cool wheel or the meeple. So what are the advantages of a hub driven system like here we have on the meeple? Well as I said earlier it's simpler and it's cheaper. It also maintains a very low profile. If you want to pretend this is a regular longboard it looks much more like a longboard without the bells. Also the hub motors they've got no belt to break so some people say they're more reliable. Importantly, in-hub motors are simpler to manufacture and therefore cheaper. Now that brings the cost of electric skateboards from over $1,000 to a mere few hundred dollars. So are in-hub motors the future? Which system do I personally prefer? Belt driven or hub driven? Right now my two favourite manufacturers are Evolve and Boosted and they use the belt driven system. I find it gives better range and better control at low speeds. This is probably because with belt systems you typically find gearing and with hub systems you typically don't. But with new manufacturers Inertia and Carvon coming out with geared hub systems, I'm going to try those first before giving a final opinion.